December the 2nd. First. It's the first. And today we're bringing you another Skyview Middle School broadcast. Alright, let's get started. So today I heard that Bryson, Austin, and Conrad are checking out the badminton unit in PE. Yeah, it'll be a home run. Home, home runs aren't even in that. You know what, never mind. I bet I could beat you in a match. In your dreams. Alright, let's go. Done. Now, let's get to that clip. Hey guys, I'm Bryson Roman and I'm on my way to PE because they are doing a badminton unit. So let's go take a look. I made this game where you have a racket, a birdie, and a net. You hit the birdie on your racket to your opponent, like this. Hey, I'm Bryson Roman and I'm here with... Adam Velasquez. And Kayla Potasio. And I'm gonna be asking them a few questions. Is badminton something you enjoy? Uh, yes, because uh, it gets really intense on, if you do like a two-on-two, -two, like what we're doing right now in PE, and uh, you should come try it. Nice. It can get very intense because of the people you work with, and it can be pretty fun too. Is this a lifetime sport that you would play? Um, no, because sometimes it gets really annoying like if you don't hit it, and yeah, it just gets really annoying. I would play this when I was like old, but not throughout my whole life. What is the easiest and hard part about badminton? The easiest part is to serve the birdie because it's not that hard, it's very simple. You just have to drop it to your racket. And the hardest thing is hitting it when it's way up high because you need to get like an angle out of it. Yeah, what about you? I think the easiest thing is actually hitting it and the harder thing is serving because depending on how you serve, you might miss. Okay, thank you. All right. Hi, my name is Bryson Roman and I'm here with... Mr. Burrell. And I'm going to be asking you a few questions. Is badminton a lifetime sport? Yes, badminton is a lifetime sport because you can play it, you know, right now, like they're doing in middle school, or you can play it when you're my age or when you're older, and it's just fun to play all the time. Would you play it as a lifetime sport? Yes, I would. What is easy and hard about badminton? So I think once you get the serve down, it's pretty easy because, you know, you just kind of hold it out and drop it and hit it. Uh, what's hard about badminton is to keep the rally going back and forth. Thank you. You're welcome. Badminton is a sport that you can play at any age. You can play it anywhere, but you should play with a partner. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Back to you, anchors. Well, that was a maze balls. I won. What? I won. Won what? The match. Be quiet. We had no match. You're delusional. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Let's hit it up with Daniel, Scott, and Josiah. Hello. Now what? You forgot. It's the forensics murder unit with Ms. Raz. As you can see, it's going to be very cold in this region. Wait. Breaking news. Kobe Bryant has just been murdered in the Skyview Middle School. Let's go to Scott for the interview with the forensics team. Right. Okay, yes. I'm here with them. Today I am here with Isaiah Stubblefield. I'm going to be asking him about the murder in the forensics team unit. So my first question for you, Isaiah, is, is this unit long? Uh, yes, it takes uh, usually all week. All week? Um, my second question for you is, who do you think the killer is? Uh, we don't know yet. We don't have any suspects yet. We are only into our third day into the unit. Understandable. And is this unit ever, like, really frustrating for you? A little bit. It's not the easiest unit because it's our final. So she said she was. Miss Raz said she wasn't gonna make it easy. So yes. Awesome. Thank you. Kobe Bryant was killed yesterday morning. Students have to find out who killed him, when they killed him, and why they killed him. Hello, I'm standing here today with Paige, and I'm gonna be asking her a couple questions about the whole forensics team unit and stuff like that. So my first question for you is: Is this unit ever really frustrating or hard? 
I mean, yeah, it takes a while to like get the information, but once you have it, it kind of gets easier. Mm -hmm. And what would make this unit you know, frustrating? Um, I mean, trying to get the equations right and trying to figure out like time of death and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And my third and final question for you is, who do you think the killer is? Um, I'm not for sure, but maybe Mr. Moreno. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Students will also still have to interview teachers because one of the teachers killed him. The assignment will be on for two weeks. Make sure to be on the lookout for any suspicious activity with teachers. Back to you, anchors. That was creepy. Nah, that was cool. We gotta see a dead body. You do know that forensics is a real thing, right? What does forensics even mean? So basically it's like where this- Okay, we gotta speed this up because we've been talking too much. I've been talking too much? You've talked so much my ears are about to fall off. Let's call it even, okay? Okay. Not. What was that? Nothing. We're off track. So let's get back on track with the twin battle by Gavin, Tristan, Ellie, and Cadence. Come on, make some noise! Welcome to the first annual twin battle! <laughs> the rules are simple. We give one twin a question, both twins must answer. The twins with the most points win the prize. Today's contestants are Ellie and Grant. Yay! I'm so happy right now. Okay. Next we have Tristan and Sebastian. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to our first question. Okay, question number one. Who is more likely to sleep all day? Raise your cards in three, two, one. Well, I can relate to that. Okay, who has the better sense of style? Raise your cards in three, two, one. <laughs> okay, let's uh, hop into question number three. Who is the more active twin? Raise your cards in three, two, one. That's I think I need some of that energy too. Where'd you get it all from? <laughs> uh, Larry. Uh, Okay, question number four. Who's the bigger sports fan? Raise your card in three, two, and one. Ooh. And question number five. Who's the more creative twin? Raise your cards in three, two, one. We're in a real bundle right now, so uh, we created this tiebreaker. The way this tiebreaker works, we gave the clipboard to twin number one. They're going to write the correct answer. Well, twin number two answers the question. Twin number one is going to raise the board, and if it's correct, they win. So, this question is, what is your twin secret talent? I'm going to give you guys a minute to write that down, and then I'm going to ask some questions. Team number two, what is Ellie's secret talent? Is that correct? No. <laughs> oh, Sebastian, what is Tr Tristan's secret talent? Drawing. Is that correct? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so the grand finale winners are Tristan and Sebastian. I'm they win a free coupon for lunch. Here you guys go. Man, I gotta admit, that was funny. It was I. What happened to you? Drank some coffee, bro. It's only coffee. True that. And he said I was delusional. Well, don't mind him. Watch this photo slideshow by Connor and Blake while I try to fix him.
those are some really cool pictures. Yeah, I know. I love watching my slideshow every week. Hey, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. What? Nothing. Just go for it. Um, okay. Can I borrow a few reach slips? Why? Because Maddie, Kat, and Aaliyah are doing a commercial for the reach store, but I don't have enough reach slips to get anything. Um, how about we watch the commercial first? Alright, fine, whatever. I need a pencil. Huh? I need a pencil. This is my last one. But you can go to the reach store. They give out pencils, knickknacks, and food. What's the reach store? The Reach Store is a shop in Skyview that sells food, toys, pencils, bags, anything you ever wish for. This is a sixth grade Reach Store. It's by Miss Smith's classroom, and inside the Reach Store are toys, lanyards, water bottles, and bags. The seventh grade Reach Store is located by Mrs. Beer's room, and it contains uh, some food, school supplies, and toys. The eighth grade Reach Store is located by Mrs. Dorax. It sells all sorts of things like pencils, pencil erasers, bags, t shirts. Towel towels. To attain reach slips, you have to have good behavior and good grades. Reach slips will be given out by your teachers. Next time you need something, go to the reach store. So after watching that awesome commercial, can I have some? Have some what? Reach slips, obviously. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, I've been meaning to ask you. What did you do over Thanksgiving break? Get fat. What? Get fat, okay? Oh. Don't judge me! I think it's time to move on to Rory, Kimani, Angel, and Kayana to see what some other people did over fall break. Sounds good, I guess. Hi, I'm Rory. And I'm Angel. And today we're going to be interviewing students about their Thanksgiving break. Let's, Let's go. go! Thanksgiving break is a great time to get together with the family and have fun. However, what makes everyone's break unique? Hi, I'm Angel. Hi, I'm Rory. And today I'm here with... Mrs. Welch. I'm here with Ellie. And today I'm here with Malik. Today we're going to ask you a few questions about your Thanksgiving break. First, what was the most exciting part about your break? Um, going Black Friday shopping. And what was the and second question is what was the best part of your break? Sleeping. And overall, what did you do over Thanksgiving break? Um, nothing. We just stayed home all the time. <laughs> did you yeah. have like a Thanksgiving dinner? Yeah. So, what was the most exciting part that happened over your break? when my sister and her like seven kids came over to celebrate Thanksgiving with us. Nice. And what was the best thing that happened over break? When they left. Well, um, I went home for Thanksgiving, that's Arkansas, and uh, my husband actually killed a deer. He's like an avid hunter, so it, mm -hmm. it was a five, nine, I don't know, so never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the best thing that happened over break? Um, I got to fit, spend time with family, and I haven't seen them in a couple of years. And finally, what did you do for Thanksgiving? It pretty much ate turkey. That's it. Hey, thank you. Well, I flew home to Arkansas. I also went to Dallas, Texas. That's a lot. And I went to Boja City, Louisiana. <laughs> thank you. All right. Hi, I'm Rory. Today I'm here with Sydney, Kira, Miss Bachman. And we're going to be asking her a few questions about her Thanksgiving break. So, what was the most exciting part of your Thanksgiving break? Um, I would have to say my most exciting thing was going to the volcano. Um, over in New Mexico. Um, the most exciting part of my break was probably when we put up our Christmas tree. Um, well, I actually just got back. You can see how tan I am. I was on a cruise and we went to Mexico and Cayman Islands. Okay, and what was the best part of your break? Um, going on a road trip to see my cousins. That sounds like fun. And finally, what did you do for Thanksgiving? Um, we were at my cousin's house and we sat around a huge table and ate a bunch. Nice, thank you. Okay. And what was the best part of your Friday break? Um, the best part was that even though I was with my mom, I got to hang out with my dad on Thanksgiving. Nice. And finally, what did you do for Thanksgiving? Um, for Thanksgiving, me and my mom, we went to our neighbor's house and we all had like a big get together and it was really fun. Sounds fun. Thank you. Yep. Well, um, what was the most exciting part about your break? Um, it would probably be that, the cruise. Um, but kind of a highlight would be um, we got to visit some old Mayan ruins in Mexico. Um, and I got to go swimming with sea turtles. So those were two of the highlights for me. And what was the best part of the cruise? Um, the best part, besides all of that, would be spending time with family. So I went um, with my husband and his family and spending time with them and having Thanksgiving dinner together was Oh, okay. Thank you. Yep. Whether it was hanging out with friends or playing sports, 
Skaggy knows how to have fun. These students definitely showed it. No matter what you did over fall break, we hope you enjoyed it. Skaggy had a lot of things to say about the Thanksgiving break. It's definitely more than just eating turkey and cranberry sauce. Back, Back to you, anchors. anchors. Wow. What? My Thanksgiving break was boring. So what? Okay, whatever. My gosh, we get off track very easily. Yeah, we really need to... Hey, that reminds me. Reminds you of what? I saw this new documentary by Jacob, Hunter, Mackenzie, and Lexi. Really? What's it about? Us, actually. What do you mean by us? I mean like middle school. Just watch the clip. Hello, my young Jewies. Come here. Today, we're going to catch a wild middle schooler. Oh. I've been attacked by a wild pack of pumpkins. I got a trap in my truck. What is your name? Is Crikey, that's interesting. What a great catch. Tune in next time to see me take this wild middle schooler to my wild middle school. Let's go. This here is Skyview. Welcome to Skyview. Speak English. Speak English. Oh, okay. Hey, wait up. Hey, you know. Man, were we really like that in middle school? Yeah, we were bad little children. Wait, but we're still in seventh grade. I wish we had some way of knowing if we were annoying. Well, you do have a way of knowing. What? How? Me? Obviously, you guys are really annoying. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Um, just kidding. Hey, Ollie, do you remember when I was supposed to go? No, but I bet Connor and Blake do. But I didn't even finish what I was saying. Roll the clip! Hey everyone, just a friendly reminder that the Dear Edwina show will be playing here at Skyview on Friday and Saturday of this week only. Tickets will be on sale during lunch this week or you can pay at the door for this very entertaining story. Get yours for only $2 if you are a student or $3 if you're an adult. See the posters in the hallways or the school newsletter for more info. Fuel up to play 60 activities for December. On December 6th, from 3 to 4 p.m., there is a cooking activity in the CFS room. You are making a chicken noodle soup. On December 13th, from 3 to 4 p.m., you are doing yoga in the band room. Please sign up on the band room door today to participate. Limited space available. In order to get students' launch accounts current and not owning for the end of the semester, there will be no lunch loans allowed from Monday, December 4th through Friday, December 15th. Please make sure you bring lunch money or sack lunch each day. There are girls basketball tryouts on December 7th and 8th. 7th and 8th graders go from 3 to 15 and 6th graders from 5.30 to 7. Please sign up on the sheets outside of the PE office. Well, 
that's some really useful information right there. Yeah, it was, but I'm getting kind of sad. Why? The week is over. It's almost the weekend. Yeah, but it's going to be the end of my anchoring career. Um, there will always be broadcast next week without you. You're right, you're right. Alright, well that was it for this week's broadcast. And if you enjoyed, remember to like. No, 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 no. This isn't a YouTube video. Shoot, you're right. What are we supposed to say? Alright, well, see you next week, guys. Bye!